In part D of the question, we're looking for the probability that between 16 and 19 of these households have access to high-speed internet. Now between 16 and 19 is going to include the numbers 16, 17, 18, and 19. And kind of like part C, there's two approaches we could take to answer this question. So flicking over here to the solution to part D, we're looking for, as we've said, probability between 16 and 19. Now, one way to do this problem would be to go find the probability of exactly 16, exactly 17, 18, 19, and add those four numbers together. And uh, if I were to go to Minitab, I could do that and get my answer. So that's one way to do it. But in truth, the faster way to do it is using cumulative distribution. Um, and let's just look at this number line down here. All in this number line are basically the numbers that X can take on. So X could be zero households out of 20, one, two, three, four, all the way up to 20. These are the only possible values of X. We are looking for the probability of 16, the ones in red, 17, 18, and 19. These are the four numbers I want probability on. Now, the way you can do this one, the faster way to do it, is to take your bigger number, which is 19, and find the probability of 19 or less. That's what I've got right here. Find the probability of 19 or less. And that answer is right there. But 19 or less, of course, includes all the numbers that are 19 or less than 19. But I don't want all those numbers. I only want the numbers um, between 16 and 19. So I take all that probability from 19 all the way back to 0. That answer is 0.98847. And what I then do is subtract from that the numbers uh, below the 19 that I don't want. And I don't want the probability of 15 or 14 or 13 all the way back to 0. So I go into Minitab, I find the probability of 19 or less, there it is, and I find a probability of 15 or less, there's my number. I subtract those two numbers and what remains is the answer that I want. Now you've got to be careful when you're doing these kinds of problems because I know it says 16 right here and the your general impulse is to going to be to, to put the number 16 right here but if you put the number 16 right here you are going to be subtracting the probability of 16 but according to the question, we want to include 16, 17, 18, and 19. Now I'm not going to bother going back into Minitab because I've shown you how you could get that cumulative probability.